Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. I apologize, but I am still under the weather. Um, so I am wearing an aloe mask that I got from Ipsy just because everything hurts. <laughs> um, yeah, just I think I've gone through an entire bottle of Dayquil at this point and, uh, you know, blowing my nose and coughing and everything like that. So uh, I'm sleeping an awful lot. So this is the most I've roused myself for the day is to make this video. So the collab must go on. <laughs> and today is day number six of March's Mask Madness and is a multi-channel collaboration with giveaways. I will have all the channels listed below in the description box, as well as all the rules, the primary one of which you must be publicly subscribed to all the channels in the collaboration. That means if I go to your YouTube channel, your YouTube page, and I click on the channel tab, everybody that you are subscribed to is visible. And that is what I mean by publicly subscribed. If you aren't and you are interested in these giveaways, you can easily uh, search on YouTube um, on how to make your channels uh, and subscriptions public. Um, so this collaboration runs from March 6th through 12th. The final day to make comments is March 26th and winners will be drawn on the 27th. We will each randomly choose day one through seven or Monday through Sunday and pick one single day. Then we will go to that video and choose that secret word for that day to pick a winner. There is one winner per channel and there are no duplicates per the collaboration. So we have already started off with this Tony Moly mesh bag and it's got a myriad of masks in it. Today I'm gonna to be adding a forehead mask and matching eye masks. I can't remember who the manufacturers are. I remember I got it off of Amazon. I do believe that Mary Catherine Loves Cats got the gold version of this. She might have gotten it as PR and then I went around and bought these in the strawberry pink um, one afterwards. But I'm gonna add that for today's gift to the pile. So to round this out a little bit more, I have more uh, questions and answers, again provided by Miss Tracy of Tracy and Chloe's Unboxings Beauty and More. So name the person in the collab that you think should audition for a reality television show. I think that should be Bonnie's Bargains. I think she'd kick booty. Honestly, I would. She's a go-getter, honestly. Um, <laughs> she she knows uh, how to come up against adversity and just keep on plugging away. So I think she'd kick booty on any reality show. Um, what terrible movie do you love to hate watch? Probably <laughs> um, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. It's so badly made. It really is, but it's actually fun to watch. Hold up. Hold <coughs> I have no way of editing, so just, it is what it is. Um, which celebrity's wardrobe would you love to own? I'm plus size. There's not that many plus size people out there that I would um, even admire. Um, not really a celebrity, but a, a lady that I follow on YouTube and Instagram. Um, she is a teacher, and she is a plus size model. Um, and her channel and her Instagram are the plus size of me. And uh, she has some absolutely beautiful clothes that she models. <coughs> <coughs> and she and I have chit-chatted before. So she she definitely is more into dresses. I don't care for dresses. Um, also, Taylor Marie, my fellow collaborator here, she has a lovely sense of style. And, and we are about the same size. So I do admire her sense of style as well. But as far as fancy celebrities go, there's really not that many plus size models for me to um, want to emulate. Um, what is the best pickup line you've ever used or was used on you? 
I'm not a person to use pickup lines. Um, honestly, I don't think I've ever had a pickup line used on me because I'm not going to a disco or a bar or someplace to go dancing that I'm going to have somebody use something like that on me. But I do remember that the gentleman that eventually became my husband, um, he had gone out on a blind date. I was with somebody we had met at a science fiction convention. And um, he said that it was love at first sight. I said it was definite like at first sight. Um, but we were... Uh, yeah, I was with somebody else at the time. Um, and what really got me was he says, that's okay. We can just be friends. I, I just want you in my life. And zing! <laughs> Clincher. I broke up with the, the local boyfriend <laughs> and went with him. So, yeah, that was that was the clincher. So I guess that one worked on me. Um, how long would you go without showering or bathing? Probably at the most five days and part of that has been because um, going into a hospital for for knee surgery knee replacement surgery or, or just like right now I'm not feeling up to it um, I don't trust myself getting in and out of a shower even with a shower chair so yeah mm, that's probably the maximum I've ever gone without a shower but I've been like home and sick you know not going out and about with people <laughs> um, would you eat a person if if it was the only means of survival. We're talking like the Donner Pass type of thing, I guess. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know when you're desperate and you're starving. <coughs> I guess you do what you have to to survive. Um, you know, there's it's always a very, very shameful thing um, in our society to do something like that. But when you're about to starve to death, um, and a means of sustenance is there. I guess you do what you have to do. Can't say that I would, can't say that I wouldn't. I don't ever see myself being in that situation, but so you do what you have to do to survive. Um, what place do you consider your happy place? I don't have one. Honestly, I don't. Um, I don't. I'm not a beach person. I'm not a outdoorsy person. Um, <clears throat> Disneyland used to be great, um, but as a disabled person, it, it's a struggle just to, to get groceries. Um, I haven't been able to get to the post office all this year to send out giveaway prizes. So um, this apartment is both a, th a sanctuary and a prison. So I don't know that I have a specific happy place. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you could instantaneously master any skill, what would it be? I think it would be languages, all languages. I think that would be fun. <coughs> Goodness, sorry. Let me aside, what hobby would you turn into a profession? And that would probably be jewelry making. I like jewelry making. This is going to kill me. My throat's just going <clears> to... <throat> sorry about that. Profession, jewelry making. I love jewelry making. But I'd, I'd want to have a lot more skill at it to turn it into um, a profession. <coughs> Which sport have you tried but failed at miserably? All of them. <laughs> I'm not a sports-oriented person. I'm not an outdoor person. I have zero skills with any sport whatsoever. So, none. <laughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. And the more I talk, the more my throat hurts or bothers me. Um, if you could clone yourself, would you? And if so, what would you both do? Absolutely not. <laughs> One of me is enough for the world to handle. I've got too many problems to deal with, and any genetic manipulation for cloning would just double the issues. So, no. <laughs> um, are you more afraid of heights or snakes? The likelihood of running into a snake is pretty limited, but I am definitely terrified of heights, water, heights over water, depths of water. <laughs> so I'm going to go with that. So that is it for the Q&A for the day. I'm going to tell you your special word uh, before I run out of breath and need to cough again. Um, the special word for the day is going to be eyes, E-Y-E-S, plural, eyes. Um, for the IMS that just went into the giveaway. So that's uh, it for today. I'm going to start another coughing fit. <coughs> if 
fun, fun, fun. And no, I have taken the the C19 test four days in a row and it's come back negative. So it's just, I've had a flu and pneumonia shots as well. So that reduces that possibility. It's just a cold, a head and chest cold. So I am uh, just going to leave this on for a few more minutes to moisturize my face because it's sort of raw from blowing my nose and coughing. Um, thank you all so much for sticking with me through <laughs> this cold, this collaboration. I hope you are masking along with us and enjoying yourselves. So please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And I will see you around the net. Bye.